Hey everybody, I'm Brian with Ford Knox Company and I'm going to show you how to install these LED lights in your Toyota 4Runner. These are the four-piece LED lights for your grill. They pop right in. They come with all the wiring and the fuse adapter that you need. They're for the 2014-2019 Toyota 4Runner Pro models, but don't worry. They also fit the SR5s and I'll put a link for them in the bottom here. They come with everything you need, all the wiring, all the harnesses, and the biggest part is that fuse adapter. The instructions inside are very straightforward. They're well written. They have actual photos of how they look and how they install. And the most important part, they show you where to install that fuse. That was probably the most confusing thing that people have is how to power these. So looking at that up close, looks like they use a fuse piggyback that will go right over an existing fuse inside your box. So there is no need to cut or splice any wires in your car. And um, you can see these tabs, they fit right into the grill. They have all these connections. Everything is weather proof. And looking at this stuff up close, it looks like very high quality product. So I'm not worried about it wearing out over time. It has the clips and the uh, tabs that will fit into the grill. It should click right in and it should be a very fast install. So this right here is a 2016 4Runner, it's an SR5. And the reason that they say that these are for the pro models is because the pro models don't have that emblem there and you have a clean grill which will fit these in there but i have seen these on all the other models the only difference is you have to kind of pick four solid ones and they're going to be split by this emblem but on the uh non pro models like this sr5 you can use these i've seen people do um low high high, low. I like that straight across look. So we're going to go for these four right here. Before you go to be able to wire all this in properly, you are going to have to pull this panel out over here. You just push down these little buttons and you can pull them out by hand or you can use a little tool. Pretty simple. Pull these out and you can take off that cover. So now that we have that off, we can go ahead and jump right into installing the lights. I already got one in right here and I'll install another one. And they're so easy, you can just install them with one hand, but they really do just fit right in. And then with a little bit of pressure, you can hear it actually click and pop into place. And you can see that they're very secure and they fit exactly into the grill. There is something that you do need to pay attention to though. You can see these little tabs on the top and the bottom, how they sit a little bit further back. On the top, you're gonna have that tab that sits a little bit further back on top. If you flip it this way, you can see it's a little bit more forward. So you'll notice right away when you put them in, whether they're seated correctly or not. But a couple minutes and those things pop right into place. And you can see in the back, we have all the wires to work with now. All the plugs are accessible and we can wire these right into the main harness. And then we can secure everything once we're done with some zip ties. You can keep it tight so that while you're driving, it doesn't get damaged. Then in the fuse box here, you're going to look for the INJ fuse, which is right above the 7.5. It's a very small little red 10 amp right there. So you can use the clips provided and you can just remove that 10 amp fuse. So once you have that fuse in, you can put it right back into place. This little piggyback thing fits right over the top of that 7.5 fuse and it does not interfere with the lid. And then once you put the lid back on, you might have to make a small modification to the lip, but it was very easy to do. And I'm gonna use the ground that's located right next to the box. It comes off with a number 10 socket. And now that we have everything together, we can go ahead and give this thing a try. It should come on with the ignition. So that means while it's running day or night, those lights will be on and it looks really nice. Everything fits secure. We just secure everything down on the inside with some zip ties and you're ready to go. So that's it, less than five minutes. Showed you guys how this goes. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I do have other videos about the lift tire suspension and also how to get rid of that tire rub when you put those bigger tires on these things. So hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next build.